The very first allocation of the fund was $25 million to help the government close its budget deficit last year so that it conti could continue to operate during the period of the beginning of the recovery. A second example is that the fund is financing the largest housing project in the country. And we know that several hundred thousand ha houses were damaged or destroyed in the earthquake. And so the fund is helping communities to rebuild after uh, all of the destruction that took place. And the third example is the fund is doing the dirty work that no one else wants to finance. And in a sense, we help to fill the gaps in the reconstruction. And this is very dirty work. We're talking about managing the debris. So we're financing over 90% of the approved debris management projects in the country uh, because it's not a sexy thing that other donors want to do. So we are able to step in and to fill that gap because if you don't remove the debris, nothing can go forward. Businesses can't reestablish, houses can't be rebuilt, and communities can't be renovated. One important feature of the fund is that it is very much led and driven by the government. So the government of Haiti sets the priorities for what we finance. Uh, we work in very close collaboration with the Prime Minister's office and with uh, the previous uh, Haiti Recovery Commission. And uh, another feature is that much of what we finance is actually implemented by the government. And then our steering committee, our governance body, is chaired by the Minister of Finance himself. Now, the fund is also a very efficient way of financing the reconstruction because very little of our money goes to administrative costs. In fact, the uh, costs of managing the fund itself are less than 1% of what we've raised so far. And we move very quickly. We can approve a project in a matter of days. So when the president of Haiti came to us and asked for financing for his proposal to move people from camps back to their neighborhoods, in 11 days we were able to provide him with $30 million. The way that the fund is structured is that we work with internationally recognized partners to guarantee that the best standards of financial management, procurement, environmental safeguards, and project development are applied. And so the Haiti Reconstruction Fund executes its financing through partners such as the United Nations, the Inter-American Development Bank, and the World Bank. And our trustee, who actually holds on to and invests and transfers the money, is the World Bank itself.